News UK's chief executive Rebecca Brooks has changed her story about the use of private investigators at least seven times, Byline Investigates can reveal. The contradictions are emerging as Ms Brooks faces possible courtroom cross-examination in two lawsuits, brought by people she allegedly targeted as part of a snooping operation on her ex-husband, the actor and television presenter Ross Kemp, when they were engaged in 2001. These are the official bodies to which Ms Brooks has appeared to give untrue and or conflicting explanations about her knowledge and role in data offences, under UK criminal, and civil law. The Commons Culture, Media, and Sport Select Committee, in 2003. The Press Complaints Commission, in 2006. The House of Lords Select Committee on Communications, in 2008. The Commons Culture, Media, and Sports Select Committee, in 2010. The Leveson Inquiry, in 2012. Her trial at the Old Bailey, in 2014, and at the High Court, this year. Over the last 17 years, Ms Brooks's explanations have grown from claims of total ignorance, to limited admissions, to much more complicated scenarios, despite having overseen the expenditure of millions of pounds on private investigators, subsequently shown to be hypermarkets for illegal private data. Her latest explanation, relating to Mr Kemp, emerged in March of this year at the Royal Courts of Justice in London, in her defense to a lawsuit brought by tradesman Tony Harding. In it, Ms Brooks admits to hiring notorious private investigator Steve Whittemore, who was later convicted of data protection offenses, to target Harding, but says she assumed he would obtain their phone details lawfully, using an internet search. Ms Brooks has always denied any wrongdoing. Click the link for the full story.